We are currently in the edge of Clara Bog. It's between the fully peat forming bog area and the more pasture type farmland. Some of this area, it was historically kind of like up to here um, and has been cut uh, over like the past, I don't even know how many years, because um, it was part of the town's uh, way to supply fuel and heat themselves and, and cook their food. Ireland is very unique in the practice of cutting and burning what they call turf. As a cultural practice, it was, you know, there's a specific type of like hoe that they would use to um, cut rectangles of the soil straight from the bog, and then they would wait for it to dry, burn it in a fire, and that's how they keep warm at night. After industrialization, the process became systematized and used for powering plants and things like that, so entire landscapes here in Ireland have been cut drained, degraded, um, and now we're left with this sort of effective <laughs> wasteland that we want to try to, to rehabilitate. The role of bogs being carbon stores makes them worth protecting. Making sure that the industrial aspect was stopped was the, the heaviest hitter. And even if small areas of the bog here and there are being cut away, um, they're not being cut over completely. And that already is a big enough difference that I can say, you know, this cultural practice is probably not going to go away. I don't, I don't mean for it to go away completely. I don't want to eradicate it. I will, like, I still want to validate that history. I study ecohydrology, um, which means the coupled interaction between water movements underneath the soil that we're, that we're standing on here and the plant growth and chemical cycling that is intrinsically linked, I would say, with the water movement, you know, the, the hydrology of, of the soil. So getting all of that straight <laughs> with the end goal of being able to uh, control some of those uh, features like the water table, how high the water is up in, in the soil to see whether or not we can encourage sphagnum growth or we can restore previously destroyed or cut or like drained bogs to become sphagnum dominated and building peat again. I'm spending this summer mostly behind a computer modeling what we're standing on right now. So it's, it's good to be out here, it's good to uh, take a look at the data and a lot of the time is just spent understanding before I can fully replicate it. When I got here for my master's, I was happy to get the Nocton Fellowship, which was something that you can apply for at Notre Dame as long as you're in a STEM field. And that was what I think quite literally opened doors for me because what I found was people here, they were reassured by the steps that I had to take to apply for and get the fellowship that they knew, oh, she really cares about this. I, I really needed to show my investment in this country and, and the landscape of this country and my, my interest in being here before even stepping foot back in Dublin in 2021. Why I wanted to study the environment always came back to care for the earth, care for creation in, in that theological lens. And I was able to just find this place, find a little niche here that I, that I thrived in and then just, I don't know, the floodgates opened from there and I can really pinpoint that to um, applying to the Nocton.